welcome to Kids Academy. Little Red Riding Hood. In the story, Little Red Riding Hood, the narrator read the words in the book in order from left to right. In this lesson, you are going to learn about reading words in the correct order. If you don't read words in order, they won't make any sense. We always start reading at the top of a page. Then, we read from left to right. On this page, we would read the word once first. Let's read this page together in order. Once upon a time, there was a dear little girl who lived near a wood. We started at the top of the page and read the words from left to right. If your story has more than one page, you always read the left page first. Let's practice reading these pages together. Which word should we start with? The word once. Excellent. Remember, when we read words, we read from left to right. We read from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. Then we go to the next page. Let's read together. Once upon a time, there was a dear little girl who lived near a wood. Her mother loved her very much. One day, the mother gave her a little riding hood of red velvet. It was so nice that the girl wore it every day. So she was always called Little Red Riding Hood. Well done! Now, you can practice reading words in order on your own. Bye! Hello! We have a new worksheet today, and the name of this worksheet is called The Tortoise and the Hare Maze, long I, O, and U. And the directions say, help the tortoise get to the finish line. Trace her way through the words that have the long I, O, and U sound. So let's talk about first what that means when you have a long I, O, or U sound. Let me give you two examples of two different words here, okay? And let's use, let's just go ahead and use the vowel I, okay? Let's think of a word that has a short I. So for example, this is a word, or this is the word pig. And I wanna underline the vowel here, I, but I want you to listen to the sound it makes. It says pig. Does I, this I here, does that make an I sound or does it make an I sound? Ig, it, right? So that's going to be a short I sound. What we're looking for are words like this. This is an example of a word that has the same vowel, but this vowel is a long vowel sound and it says its name. Its name is I and it says its name. And not always, but usually, do you see this E here at the end? Whenever you see an E at the end, the E helps the I to say its name. They're kind of like friends and they help each other. So E says, say your name, and then when I read it, it'll say, I'm. Did you hear that? That I sound, it said its name. T I'm. That's an example of a long vowel sound, and that's what we're looking for. But we're looking for it not only with I, but also with O and U. That's what the directions say over there. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this, but I want to show you as we go through here, and I want you to really listen to the vowel sound, and often the E at the end is the one that we're looking for because E always helps our vowel say their name, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start up here where it says start, and we're going to help our tortoise through our maze. So we come to right here and it looks like we have two choices. We can either go to hug or mule. And I want you to find the one, both of these have U in it, okay? But I want you to find the one where it says the U name, all right? So let's listen to it. Hug, hug or mule, mule, U. And notice too on mule. It has an E at the end, right? So U says its name here. That makes it a long vowel sound. So this is the direction we're gonna go. We're gonna go through mule, okay? Now we're gonna come down here and now we have two options. We have cut or cute. 
We're looking for the one that makes the U sound. Okay, so let's listen again. K -a -t or k -u -t. K -a -t or cute. Cute. You, right? Did you hear that U? And also, there's our friend the E again at the end, so that's kind of a clue, okay? So we're gonna go through cute. Now we're gonna come down here and we've got two ways that we can go here. We've got pig or rose. Now before we even listen to them, do you see a little clue there? Any little friend that might give us some help? Do you notice right here we have an E at the end? I'm gonna guess that's the way we need to go, but let's listen to them, okay? We're either looking for, here we've got two different vowels, we've got an O or an I. So we are looking for the one that either says O or I, okay? So let's listen to it. P -ig, p -ig. Does that say the I sound? No, it doesn't. What about this one? Rose. Rose. What about that? Does that say its name? It does, doesn't it? So we're going to go through rose. That's the long vowel sound, okay? And then we're going to come through here, and we can only run through this one. We can't go another way, so I'm betting that's the way that we're going to go. But let's listen to that, okay? Let's listen to what that sounds like just to make sure that we're right, okay? This is the word cone, and we're looking for that long O sound. So listen again. Own. Does it say its name? Yeah, it does, and it's got its friend the E there at the end, doesn't it? Okay, let's keep going. Let's move on down, and then we're going to run into this one. This is tulip, okay? And I don't see an E at the end of this one, but I don't really know where else to go, so I want to make sure that I'm going the right way. Our U needs to make the U sound, okay? So let's listen. Does it make the U sound? T tulip. 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 That's kind of a tricky one. Tulip. Is it the long sound or is it a short sound? Tulip. Ulip. U. Yeah, it's still the long U sound. Now there's not an E at the end, so that's not always going to be the only way that they can make that long sound. But that's always usually a good indicator. But this one's still correct, so we're going to keep going, okay? And now we're running into cube, okay? Cube. Does it say its name? Does you say its name? It does. So we're going the right way. We're going to go through cube here and we're going to keep going down and then we're going around this way and we have another word. The word is time. Let's listen and see if I, that vowel in the middle, says its name. T I'm. Does it say its name? T I'm. Yeah, it does. It has that I sound and we've got our friend the E at the end, okay? And now we're going to come down this way. Or actually, we could go over here. We could go back the other way. I'm not sure way to go. Are we going to go to this word or this word? I started to go this way, but let's make sure. We've got wig, w -ig. It doesn't say I. It's not wig. It's w -ig. So that one, mm, I don't think that's the way to go. I think we were going the right way down here. Let's check. This is the word whole. Does O say its name? Let's listen. Ol, hol, ol. Yeah, it makes that long sound. So we are going the right way. We're gonna go through hole, and we're almost to the finish line, but we run into a word here. Let's make sure this is the right word, that we went the right way. Are you ready? This is the word huge, okay? Please listen. Huge. Does it make the U sound? And it's our got our friend the E. Let's listen one more time. Huge. Yeah, that's it. We're going the right way. So we're gonna draw our line through here and we have made it to the finish line with our tortoise, didn't we? Great job, you guys did awesome listening to those sounds and you discovered a new thing today with E being our friend at the end who helps our vowel say its name. And you remember that tricky one, tulip? It's not always gonna be the case, but usually E helps us out, doesn't it? Yes, okay, great job today. Bye-bye, friends. Hello, we have a new worksheet today about sight words. And sight words are words that we need to learn just by sight. Sometimes it's not always the rule that it goes by, but there are a few rules and we're gonna be talking about them today. So what we're gonna be doing is it says, check the correct spelling of each picture to complete the sentence below. And in all honesty, sometimes it just takes practice for us to see a word many times before we're gonna know what the correct spelling is but sometimes there are clues or tricks to help us. So let's go through each one of these. The first sentence here says, my blank 
loves the holidays. And here is a picture of a family. We can tell they're a family because it looks like it's got a mom and a dad and maybe a sister and a baby and an, even a pet here. So we're trying to figure out which is the correct way to spell family. Let's talk about each of our options. The first example is this, F-A-M-I-L-E-E. -E. And let's sound this out and listen to how this would be pronounced. Fam-I-L-Y. fam -i -li. Does that sound correct? It's really close, but this is kind of this sounds kind of funny because it's pronounced differently. So listen to it again. Family. We've got two E's that are stuck together, okay? And that does make an E sound. But in this case, usually double E's are not going to make the E sound unless they're together in the middle of the word. Usually when it's the end of the word, it's going to be fam i like this. The Y here makes an E sound because it's at the end of a word. And this is actually our second spelling here, family. The last one is this one. This is familia. Familia. This is not even sounding like the word family. So we know that that's not the right answer. We also know that this one is not the right answer because usually those two E's make the E sound when they're stuck in the middle of the word. So this is the correct spelling of the word family. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna check family, the one in the middle, okay? Let's go on to the next one. The next one, number two, says, the cowboy loves to ride his, and here's a picture of it. What is that a picture of? A horse, right? The cowboy loves to ride his horse. So we're looking for the correct spelling of the word horse. Let's write out all of these examples. H-O-A-R-S-E is the first one. The next one is H-O-R-S-E. And the last one is H-O-R-E-S. So let's listen to how each one of these would be pronounced phonetically or the way that it sounds. So let's go through this horse horse that sounds pretty close to the word this one might be it what about this one here horse horse is that correct that one sounds pretty correct too they sound about the same what about the last one horse is that right horse Nope, that's not correct. Here, the E makes the O say its name, so there's an emphasis on the O, horse, and the E is silent. So this would not be the correct way. It sounds very close to the same, but the emphasis on the O. So this one is not the right answer. Let's go back to these two again. We've got O-R and O-A-R. This is ORS and this is or. This is a longer sound. Do we say horse or do we say horse? We say horse, don't we? This is the short way of doing it. O-R makes an or sound. This is the correct way to spell that word. So this one is not correct. And this one sounds very close to the same. So this is just one of those words that you're gonna have to memorize and get better at. That's why we call them sight words because we should know them by sight. So it's H-O-R-S-E, horse. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna check that one right here, okay? Now let's go on to the next one. Their blank is very big. And I'm not sure, this looks like a building, but let's see what it looks like. It looks like, well, from what I'm reading down here, it looks like it's gonna be the word house. But we have to figure out the correct way of spelling house. So let's write out, once again, the three examples. We've got H-O-S-E, we've got H-O-W-S-E, and we've got H-O-U-S-E. So we're gonna go through these phonetically, which means how they sound, and see which one would be correct that way. So we've got host, because the E, makes the O say its name, and then the E is silent, so this would be pronounced hose. Is that correct? That's not how we say house, so that's not the right one. Let's go to the next one. And the vowel sound here is O-W, which makes an ow sound. So this is pronounced house. 
that sounds right. That might be the right answer. Let's go to the next one. The next example here of the vowel sound is OU, which also makes an OW sound. So this is going to be house. That one also sounds correct. So on this one, we can't tell which is one is correct because OW and OU both make the OW sound. So now we need to use logic. The trick here is that OW makes the OW sound in words like cow at the end of a word, but it, when it's at the beginning or the middle of the word, like house, we use OU. So for this one, we're going to need to use OU because it's at the middle of the word. So this is the correct spelling of the word house. So let's come down here and let's find that again, H-O-U-S-E. And we're going to go ahead and put a check right next to that one, okay? Good job. We've got one last one to do here. The next one says, do you like to something basketball? And it looks like from the choices, it's going to be play. Do you like to play basketball? So let's come over here and write out once again our choices. We've got P-L-A, we've got P-L-A-Y, and we've got P-L-A. A E Y. Okay, so let's sound them out first. This first one would be pronounced pla. Pla. Do you like to pla basketball? No, nope, that's not a word, is it? That doesn't work because the A here, because there's no E, there's no Y, there's nothing else that follows it, this would be pronounced like an A sound, pla. And that's not what we want, so that's not correct. The next one, this would be pronounced play play. Does that sound correct? Yes, it does. That might be the right answer. Let's go down to the next one. This one is play also. It sounds like play. So both of these sound correct. This is an example of one that you're just going to need to learn. In this example, this is the correct answer, P-L-A-Y. Y, after a vowel, makes the same sound as the A. It's kind of like the E at the end of a word. It makes it say its name. So this is pronounced play, and this is the correct way of spelling it. The E-Y is a different way. This is not the correct way. This is just one of those that you're going to need to remember. So it is P-L-A-Y. Why? So we're going to put a check on the very last one. Great job. Those sight words can be really hard, but when you take practice and you see these words over and over again and you learn the correct answer, you're going to get it every time. It just takes a lot of practice. So make sure you're practicing those sight words. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye, friends. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Mike, and today we're going to work at sounding out some words. Some of these words are easier than other words, but we're gonna use our eyes and our ears to determine how best to spell these words. Let's read the directions and get started. A-R and O-R words. A-R has the sound you hear in car. Ka-a-R, R. O-R has the sound you hear in fork. O orc. That's some good imaginary food. Say the name of each picture aloud. Check the correct box next to each picture to complete the words. Let's take a look at the first picture. I see corn. Corn. So let's sound out corn using AR and OR and see which one sounds right. So I see corn, corn. Just on my first sound, I think it's gonna be O R. But let's try both sounds to see which one is a better fit. We have ka a arn or ko o orn, corn. I definitely hear the O R sound. C O R N, corn, C O O R N. Let's try this same strategy of sounding out O R and A R for the rest of our words. First thing we need to do for the next picture is look and decide what is this? Well, looking from the picture and the start of these letters for this word, I see a, a storm. 
So let's sound out storm with AR. And OR. Storm. Again, I'm pretty sure I hear that OR sound. But let's try both AR and OR to see which one is a better fit. Storm. That doesn't sound right. Storm. That sounds a little bit better. Let's take it a little slower. St uh, uh, arm or st o o arm. Again, I'm going with that OR sound. Storm. Nice job. Our next picture. What do you see? I see a shark. Shark. Uh, this time, I think I hear the AR sound. But just to be sure, let's try the OR sound as well. We have sh-a-ark. I'm pretty sure it's that AR sound. Or sh a ork I don't know about you, but I'm more scared of sharks than sharks. So this is going to be the AR sound. Sh-a-ark. Shark. Nice job. Our next picture is of a, a farm. Um, farm. What sound do you hear? Do you hear AR or OR? F arm or F arm. Form is a word, but in this picture, I see a farm. F a, -a arm or F -o -o arm. I think it's that A out AR sound for farm. Our next picture, what do you see? I see a star. Star. How do you spell star? Is it with A-R or is it with O-R? Let's try both. st a a r That sounds right. Or st o o r Again, Store is a word, but in the picture, I see a st a a r with the a r sound. Star. Most times, you can just hear whether the word sounds right or wrong. Let's give it a shot with our next picture, just using our ears and eyes. I see a boy doing a pull up, and the letters S P blank T make me think he is doing a sport Sp o -o -ort. so you always have to break up the sounds to hear how it sounds chunk those words Sp or T sport so we can try AR again and OR Sp o -o -ort or Sp a -a -art. Which one sounds right to you? For me, sp o o ort is always going to be the right sound. O R. Our next picture, we have a blue pair of shorts. Sh or t s. Our next picture, we have a blue pair of shorts. Sh or t s shorts. What sound did you hear? Did you hear a r or did you hear o r when I broke up that word into different set? What did you hear? Did you hear a r or o r when I broke up that word into different sounds? I heard o r, but let's try one more time just to be sure. Sha a arts. Or shorts. I heard the OR sound for shorts. And finally, our last picture. What do you see? I see a harp. Have you ever seen a harp before? They're really cool instruments. Let's try sounding it out. R harp. Which did you hear? AR or OR? 
ha a r or ho o or I think it's a r harp because ho o or just doesn't sound right. Boys and girls, you can use this strategy to sound out most any words. Just look at the picture and listen to the sounds. Great job, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hi, everyone. In this lesson, you are going to learn about how words can be written out with letters. All of the words in the song, Hickory Dickory Dock, are made by putting letters together. Every word that you hear can be written down. To write words, we use the letters of the alphabet. Letters are written in a certain order to spell different words. Listen to the word dog. The word dog is written with three letters, D, O, G. D, D, O, A, G, G, D, O, G, Dog. Let's read together. Dog. Very good. Listen to the word cat. The word cat is written with three letters. C, A, T. C, K, A, A, T, T, K, A, T, Cat. Can you read this word? Cat. Well done. Listen to the word mop. The word mop is written with three letters. M, O, P. M. M. Mm. O. Ah. P. P. M. Op. Mop. Let's read this word together. Mop. Excellent. Now you can practice finding words that are written out on your own. See you later. Hi everyone! In this lesson, you will learn why we put spaces between words when we write. Look at this sentence. The sun is hot. Do you see that there is a space between each word? We can see that there are four words in the sentence. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. Whenever you write, you must put a space between every word. If you don't put spaces between your words, people can't tell where one word ends and another starts. That would make it very hard to read. Much better now. What is wrong with this sentence? Yeah, there are no spaces between the words in this sentence. Can you see how this makes it very hard to read? It is much easier to read when we put spaces between the words, the dog ran. There are three words in this sentence. Let's count together. One, two, three. Let's take a look at another sentence. I see the cat. How many words are in this sentence? There are spaces between each word. This helps us see that there are four words in the sentence. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. Well done! Now you can practice finding spaces between written words. Bye! Hi everyone! In this lesson, you are going to learn how to put sounds in order to make words. Every word that you hear can be written down. To write words, we use the letters of the alphabet. 
Letters are written in a certain order to spell different words. Look, D-O-G, dog. C-A-T, cat. The spider in the song, The Itsy Bitsy Spider, made a spider web. The word web is written using three letters of the alphabet. It starts with a W, which makes the W sound. The word web has the letter E in the middle. The letter E makes the E sound. The letter B is at the end of the word web. B makes the B sound. When we put all of the letter sounds together, we have our word. W -e -b. Web. Let's practice putting letters in order to make a word together. H T A. These letters are in the word hat, but they are all out of order. Let's see if we can figure out the letters to make the word hat. The letter H makes the H sound. The letter T makes the T sound. The letter A makes the A sound. The word hat starts with the H sound. It is the letter H. The word hat has the A sound in the middle. That sound is the letter A. The word hat ends with the T sound, the letter T. Hat. Hat. Now you can practice putting letters in order to make words on your own. Bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.